The film opens in 2016 BCE with Saman. Rithik Roshan, a young man from the village of Amri, who lost his parents at a young age. Saman kills a crocodile that has been terrorizing his village's fishermen and is hailed as a hero. He asks his uncle, Durjan, Nitish Bhardwaj, to allow him to go to Moinjo Daro to trade their family's goods. But his uncle refuses. Saman attempts to sneak away to the city at night with his friend Hojo. Uman Vyas, but is caught by Durjan, who relents and allows both friends to go. He gives Saman a seal that contains an inscription of a unicorn that Saman often sees in his dreams, suggesting he use it only once in a life or death situation. Arriving in Moenjo Daro, Saman learns that the city is ruled by the tyrannical senate chief Maham Kabir Bedi and his wicked son Munya. Aruno De Singh. He also learns that the unicorn he sees in his dreams is the symbol of the city, and feels as if the city is oddly familiar to him. While Saman is trading, Maham proposes to impose an additional tax on the farmers so that the city may grow. But Saman leads the farmers to oppose the taxes so that their families don't starve to death. Saman gains access to the upper city by showing his uncle's amulet and meets Chani. Pooja Hegde, the elegant and gorgeous daughter of the head priest. Manish Chaudhari, of Mohenjo Daro. Saman is enchanted by Chani's heavenly beauty and charm and falls in love with her. Upon meeting, the head priest strangely appears to recognize Saman. Chani reveals that she has been forcibly betrothed to Munya. Saman's enemy, who is cruel and ruthless. Maham discovers Saman and Chani love each other and that Saman is the leader of the tax revolt. And so he challenges Saman to fight Bakar and Zoka, his two champions. Saman proposes that if he wins, Chani will be released from her engagement. And Maham accepts the terms. On the night before Saman's clash with Bakar and Zoka, the head priest reveals to him how Maham was expelled from Harappa for illegal trade with the Sumerians. Maham entered Moenjo Daro as a trader and quickly rose to become the trade chief. Maham had discovered that the mighty Sindhu River held vast gold deposits. So he decided to place a dam on the river and divert its course to mine the gold. The wise Senate chief's region, Sharad Kelkar who is revealed to be Saman's father, opposed this. But Maham won the vote to build the dam. He had Srijan framed and arrested for hoarding gold. Chani's father and Durjan Saman's uncle were coerced by Maham to betray Srijan. And the latter was killed. Maham then took Srijan's place as the new senate chief. It is now up to Saman to defeat the evil Maham and avenge his father. Uddharan Chene in the arena outside the city, Saman faces the ferocious tight mountain cannibals Bakar and Jokhar. After a vicious battle, he kills one of the cannibals but spares the other. And the people of Moenjo Daro surge even stronger behind him. Enraged, Maham urges Munya to finish off Chani and the priest Munya kills the priest. But Saman saves Chani and kills Munya. Uddharan Saman exposes Maham's plan to use the gold from the Sindhu to enrich himself and to smuggle in weapons from the Sumerians. All the chiefs now stand against Maham. The people elect Saman as the new chief. But Saman suggests Moenjo Daro needs a people's government, not a chief. With the arrival of a heavy thunderstorm, Saman realizes that the dam will burst and the Sindhu river will flood the city. He rallies the people to lash boats together and form a floating bridge. They evacuate Moenjo Daru and cross to the other side of the river. The dam collapses, and Maham, chained in the city square, is drowned. The once renowned Moenjo Daru is no more. The survivors migrate to another river, where Saman sees the unicorn of his dreams and names the river Ganga.